السلام عليكم انا دكتور خالد احمد خرشيد احنا بنعمل الفيديو ده هو زي ما عملنا فيديوهات قبل كده عشان نعرف الدكاتره والمهتمين بالصحه عن حاجه جديده اسمها كايروبراكتيك كايروبراكتيك ميديسين وهو تقويم العظام والعمود الفقري وهذا يعالج الكثير من الامراض شفنا ايه هو الكايروبراكتيك وازاي ان احنا نقدر نعالج المرضى وشفنا الاجهزه بتاعتنا والادوات وهذه كلها بتخدم حالات كثيره ب يعني نتائج طيبه وسريعه. النهارده هنلتقي باحد المرضى وله بعض الاعراض اللي احنا عالجناها وهنساله نتيجه العلاج اللي احنا عالجناه في عده جلسات سابقه. نشوف تطور الحالة ونشوف رد فعله ورأيه في هذا المجال. معنا مستر بليدل في زيارته بعد عدة جلسات سابقة، هنشوف إيه النتيجة للعلاج اللي عملناه وهو ورأيه في هذا الموضوع. How are you, Mr. Liddell? How you feel today? I'm good. You had some symptoms before, I remember. Can you summarize how you was feeling? Before you started chiropractic care? Yes, I was having pain in my inguinal area and on the outside of my hip, it would seem as if it was stiff and um, sore. And the intensity would go up and down so that I would have to stop and recover after walking. Uh, Mr. Riddell actually came suffering from uh, alum fi al groin it was on this side, and then sometimes it would switch to the other side for us a short time. It would go back and forth. Mainly, it was on this, my right side. Right side. And so, when I had a chance to talk to you about it, um, you would just tell me to come in, and you would adjust me or help me out with it. هو الحقيقه هذا الالم بينتقد من الجهه اليمنى الى الجهه اليسرى بس اكثر في الجانب الايمن وتكلمني في لقاء خارج العياده فطلبت منه يجي ونعمل فحص ونبدا العلاج. Then what happened? Then when you begin to um, check my uh, spine for different movement and you would find that it's stiff or that it's not moving correctly and then you would adjust it. So after the adjustment, it seemed that it would relieve the uh, stiffness and the uh, soreness that was occurring. And on both sides, it was happening on, on both sides, but it was just happening on the right side more. I thought it was related to weight because I was very overweight. I was about 242 pounds at the time. 242 pounds. Uh, actually, Mr. Riddell uh, said that after adjustment, after بعد تقويم الفقرات عمود الفقري والحوض الألم راح ومن كلا الجانبين وهو قال إنه كان بيعتقد إنه ممكن يكون السبب هو زيادة الوزن، طبعا زيادة الوزن ما من شك هتأثر في العمود الفقري وممكن تكون فاكت يعني عامل من العوامل وإن كان ممكن يكون في عوامل أخرى أي عمل أو أي إنجري أو إصابة أو حاجة زي كده. مستر بليدل، do you remember if you had any injury or fall or accident before that? I didn't see any or could remember any anything that happened to me before I started having this injury. I uh, talked to different people about it. Some people said that 
um, maybe me going down on my knees, some movement like that is causing a problem. Or what you're doing, uh, exercise or? Yeah, because I'm, I've been uh, trying to lose weight. So ah. I did lose weight. Yeah. And uh, so I managed to, to lose weight, but that did How you managed to lose just, weight? I, I got a trainer. A trainer. So how long you use the trainer? For about a year and a half. A year and a half. Before the trainer, you didn't have this pain in the lungs. No, uh, I would have it, but I just wouldn't have it that often. I thought the exercise would take the pain away. Oh, it didn't? Uh, did, did no, the, lo the, way, the loss of weight did not take it away. What about the exercise? Did it help? It helped. It helped me, uh, my mobility, but still, I was still having that nagging pain. You uh, call and know. أعتقد إنه زيادة الوزن ممكن تكون السبب ولو ناقص الوزن يروح هذا الألم وتروح هذه المعاناة والحقيقة هو يعني عمل عمل طيب إنه هو ابتدى ينقص من وزنه وبإنه يعمل رياضة ويعني هاير يعني ترينر يعني مدرب رياضي وكان مهتم بالرياضة وزاد من نشاطه الرياضي صحيح ناقص الوزن لكن ما حصلش تحسن كامل حصل بعض التحسن بالرياضة لكن مش كامل. so you also you mentioned that you had problem with your left shoulder. yes, I also had problems with my left shoulder and that was um, that was a work related injury that I had and um, over the years I had acupuncture for it. Uh, first I had shots. Uh, I'm not sure the name of the shot. Could be cortisone. Cortisone, a cortisone shot. Mm -hmm. Then um, there is a free uh, acupuncture clinic. I went to a free acupuncture clinic, and I got some help, and I got mobility in my shoulder. So when you started, when you heal this area, mm -hmm. you are successful in getting mm -hmm. this area to, to give me a lot of relief. Mm -hmm. So that's why after you get, I got relief in this area, and I told you about my shoulder yeah. injury. Yeah. Uh, والحقيقة بعد ما الألم راح من الأماكن اللي هو كان بيعاني منها، uh, ده شجعه إنه يحكي لي عن شكوى تانية ما لهاش ما لهاش ما ليش عنها قبل كده اللي هو ألام في الكتف الأيسر. وهذه الألام قال لي إنها يعني بقالها مدة uh, سنوات. وكانت إصابة في العمل والألم كان دائما بيصاحبه في الكتف وكان بيسأل هل ممكن بقى نقدر نعالج هذه المنطقة إزالة الألم من الأماكن اللي هو كان بيعاني منها شجعه إن هو يفكر في الأشياء الأخرى اللي بيعاني منها في الحقيقة إنه حكى لي إزاي الإنجري دي جات بس أنا عايز أسأله دلوقتي uh, you told me how this shoulder injury happened. Can you explain to me how that happened again? Yes, I was, at the time, I was doing custodial work, and I was going down the hallway, and I had two booms in my hand, and I was going down the hallway. One side was obstructed. Boom is it machine? Or no, it's, it's just, uh, it's like a broom. Okay. It's just getting the dust off, off of a hallway floor. Okay. I was going down the hallway, and one side was obstructed, and I didn't see exactly what it hit, but once it hit, and I was continuing to walk, and then that's when I got the, the shoulder injury. هو بيحكي إنه هو أثناء عمله في تنظيف العمل كان في كان ماسك يعني حاجة زي ما تقول. مقششتين أو حاجة ده كده للتنظيف في إيديه الاثنين وماشي بسرعة بقى بينظف ما خدش باله إنه دراع الشمال خبط في شيء يعني مجرد ما خبط في شيء ابتدى الألم يجي في كتفه لأنه طبعا كان مسرع ويمكن كان يعني عايز يخلص شغله بسرعة أو حاجة ودائما الإصابات والحوادث بتحصل من السرعة وعدم التركيز so after that you went to hospital or you went to a doctor what you did no I just 
waited and tried to wait it out. And then finally, after I went to a doctor, he gave me a cortisone shot. Once the cortisone shot wore off, I opted to go to an acupuncture clinic. When it got off, the pain came back? I think so. After after that's the cortisone, yes, right. That's why I'm in for yeah. that. So he actually, the hakika was a habit of tabibu, and tabibu atahu in the cortisone, and that is the معتاد. إنه لو ال ال الأدوية ال الأدوية الألام ما مش تغلت شيء على طول الدكتور بي بيركن إلى حوال الكورتيزون عشان خاطر يخبي الألم لا أكثر ولا أقل ما هوش علاج يعني فمجرد ما الكورتيزون خلص خلص مفعول رجع الألم تاني ففكر إنه هو يروح طريقة أخرى فراح للعلاج بالإبر الصينية that's good you went for acupuncture so was helpful it was helpful. I got mobility back uh, without pain. But I, that's why I told you after you gave me relief here and then I started uh, to think that maybe you could help this uh, nagging bone issue that I was having in my shoulder. Was it still nagging? It, it's still nagging even though I have full mobility. Yeah, okay. I have full mobility. I don't have a situation where I can't move my arm, mm. but I just feel it's uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we did some adjustment for the shoulder, uh, like three visits or something like that. Okay. Do you feel any improvement? It's hard to say because I can't be totally um, without doing things. You know, you were telling me I should not, you know, yeah. be very, you know, laid back until you you know, get my bones in the right position and everything, but uh, I have to do my own landscaping. Oh. I have to do my, yeah. you know, different yeah. things. I had to take care of my mom. Uh, yeah. yeah. So those things precipitated me yeah. not getting into it as much. So, but, you know, yeah. so no improvement yet, or, or, or some? I, th I have some improvement, uh, but the biggest improvement, of course, is this. Yes. So we just started, يعني إحنا بدأنا علاج الكتف من جلستين أو ثلاثة. بيقول ال وطلبت منه إنه ما يعملش أعمال ثقيلة، ما يشلش أشياء، ما يوقفش إنه يدفع ولا يشد ولا يتوسط his shoulder. طبعا هو ما يقدرش يتوقف عن هذا لأنه طبعا عنده مسؤوليات ومنزله وأسرته وحاجات زي كده. فبيقول حصل تحسن بس لسه مش تحسن كامل فطبعا لو ده فرصة للعلاج والتقام الانجري فده حيكون تحسن أسرع لكن إن شاء الله دائما إحنا ما يعني نقدر نعمل من خلال ال 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 يعني إنه ممكن ما نقدرش يعني نفرض على المريض إنه يتوقف عن الحياة عشان خاطر يا يستمر so we hope we can help you also for your shoulder. We'll continue treating you, and we hope you reconsider uh, the hard work. You postpone it or make the shorts later, or ask for help. Uh, we can find somebody to help you, <laughs> so you can get better. So I thought, يعني أنا كلمته قلت له إن شاء الله حيحس بتحسن ولو يقدر إنه هو يقلل من المجهود العضلي. ده هيكون أس أحسن ولو لا حد يساعده عشان يعمل له على المسؤوليات بتاعته هيكون شيء طيب فنتمنى I hope we can help you for the shoulder too and we thank you very much for your uh, choosing us to help you and give you our service and care yeah I'm glad to I'm glad uh, you did give me some relief and healing يقول إنه هو سعيد إنه هو يعني حصل شفاء بالنسبة للأعراض بتاعته ويتمنى إنه يحصل نفس الشفاء 
للكتف وبنتمنى له هذا ايضا وربما يكون لنا لقاء اخر ان شاء الله لما يحصل كومبليت لما يحصل شفاء كامل ان شاء الله للكتف شكرا شكرا ثانك يو فيري ماتش